All right, guys, for this pelvic um, video, we're gonna look at a few landmarks that you don't really see in the book very often. Um, they're a little more obscure. Um, we're looking at the half of our model that doesn't have the ligaments on it because I wanted you to be able to see some of these, which kind of hide a little bit under the ligaments and other models. So you can see we have a very round path right here on the inside of that pelvic bowl. We got pelvic floor muscles attaching there. Um, and then right there at the middle of that pathway, right about there, you can see you've got an iliopubic eminence. That's where the ilium meets the pubis. And it's just a prominent little feature there where they meet. From that eminence back, so posteriorly, that's going to be your arcuate line. Arcuate line. From that eminence down to the pubis, you can see a line there. That's your pectineal line. Now remember the pectineus is one of those five AD ductors, so that line is going to come down to the femur on the portion right under the lesser trochanter. And so when that contracts, it's going to pull that femur in, creating a deduction. Okay, so that's your pectineal line. And wouldn't you know that the pectineal line on the femur that corresponds directly to this, they're named because they're the attachments for the pectineus muscle. Um, so there's those landmarks. I also wanted you to just look at the ischial tuberosity and the ischial spine, the greater and lesser sciatic notches. Just get a good look at all of that, the tubercle of the pubic bone, the crest, the symphysis, without all of that ligamentous tissue there. So you can really see what we're really looking at. You can see the ASIS, the AIS, gluteal lines from the other side. So there's your anterior, very faint. Inferior would be down here, posterior. PSIS, PIS. You can see that half of the sacrum. Here we're showing a disc and you can see those concentric rings that's representing the nucleus pulposus there and the annulus fibrosus on the outside. Okay, so that's another pelvic model. Really good one. You can see lots of good detail on it.